Hi students and welcome to today's live IELTS class. My name is Adrian. I'm streaming to you from beautiful Victoria here on the west coast of Canada. I hope everybody is having an amazing start to their week. Welcome VM Mind Dovlut Beck, Duyen Nguyen. Welcome Carolina, our chat moderator. Okay, good to see many people already in this class. Students, right now we are focusing on IELTS uh, speaking part one for a band nine and we're going to be talking about singing. Part one is on a general topic and uh, a past exam and this topic was about singing. Of course, this is an all chat class with interactive speaking. I will be calling some of our viewers today, asking you uh, speaking part one questions, giving you a band score estimate and some feedback. Students, this class is presented to you by aehelp.com for academic IELTS. Visit us there and gieltshelp.com for general IELTS. Check us out there to get 100 hours of videos, 400 slide interactive course, six original practice exams you should get the world's most popular online course let me show you what that looks like just so you have a better idea of where to go and what to do this is our general IELTS website here at gieltshelp.com you just click this red button right beside my head to join our premium IELTS package it doesn't cost a lot it's quite cheap actually and it's lifetime access with a one-time payment. And for the academic IELTS, same idea, blue background, you just click that big blue button. We're going to be using this website today uh, to talk to students because these websites have a chat interface kind of like Skype or WhatsApp or Messenger where you can talk to other IELTS students, video chat, audio chat. So we're going to be uh, using uh, that okay today so make sure to check it out and join when you get the chance and you should start as soon as possible um, of course you can get our apps academic IELTS help general IELTS help from your app store and you can follow us on Instagram we've got lots and lots of followers now IELTS underscore a help and G IELTS help join our courses join instagram become a part of our learning community uh the classes the schedule you can see it on the youtube channel make sure to subscribe you can also see it on instagram this week as you see we will have speaking right now uh tomorrow we'll have reading for members we'll have listening for the all chat class then we'll have writing and lots more speaking in the week uh students if you have questions something's not clear Right over there um, is my email. Questions? Send an email to adrian at aehelp.com. Kelvin, Rashika, Tatiana, Baljeet, nice to see so many members in the class as well. Uh, we're getting right into speaking part one with the introductory questions. Um, standing on top of me here is our IELTS examiner. I believe we gave him the name Henry. Henry there is saying, hey, look, these are the questions um, that we have and you want to repeat. He's got his hand up like, uh, like that, kind of, kind of like that. It's hard to copy mirror image, um, but you want to repeat. Students, this is a speaking class, so make sure to speak lots, okay? Um, if you're listening to me, you're improving your English listening skills, but this is a speaking class, so speak and repeat. Copy my intonation, my pronunciation, as much as possible. So first of all, just copy these questions. So repeat these questions after me, okay? So may I see your identification? Let's try this again. These are always the questions the examiner will start with. Be very familiar with them. So here we go, three, two, one. May I see your identification? What is your full name? Where do you live? What is your hobby? And remember students, right away, show fluency and a big tip is uh, answer, explain, example, right away, OK? 
Okay. Mandeep is saying in the chat that tomorrow is a speaking exam. So Mandeep, uh, make sure to pay attention. Uh, Mariano Aguirre, welcome to our group of members. That's awesome. Make sure to send us an email so I can hook you up with your exclusive videos. Welcome. Okay, everyone. So part one questions, they're going to be about singing and you get a little bit of a cheat here because I want you thinking in advance so that you can come up with some good answers. I want your brain to twist and turn on this topic. So again, just repeat these questions after me. Do you like to sing? Why or why not? How often do you sing? When do you sing? Who is your favorite singer? Why do you like this person? Where is the best place to sing? If you could learn to sing a song perfectly, which song would you choose and why? Have famous singers become better today than those in the past? All right, so these are the questions for today and we will start answering these one by one going from the top. So get ready for this. Uh, for the first questions, um, the identification and full name, let's just start that off together now. Give me your answers in the chat, write them in the chat but also make sure to say them. And then I will start calling some students for speaking practice. So here we go, students. Um, you go to your IELTS exam and you arrive an hour early, okay? So again, make sure to arrive one hour before your speaking interview uh, starts. So you have lots of time to become familiar with the test center, get calm and confident, and do that by practicing some questions with other candidates that are waiting, okay? So that's what you want to do. You basically want to do what we're doing today, what we're doing right now, all right? Okay. Jas is asking, how do I improve intonation in speaking? Jas, one way for sure is through repetition, okay? So, and then also there's a way to mark stresses and intonation in written English, and you want to practice that and then vocalize it. Okay, Jas, it's a good question. So sometimes I catch these good questions in the chat, and I address them. All right, everyone. So here we go. You go to your exam center an hour early. You're calm, you're comf confident. Um, you register 20 minutes before the interview starts. And then you finally get called into the exam room and you are met by an examiner, kind of like me, that will probably have a tie on as well. And then they will say, welcome to the speaking portion of the IELTS exam. My name is Adrian. I will be your examiner for this part of the test. This is candidate number 95713894. This is examiner number 6591. I'm recording this for clerical purposes. The speaking has three parts. I will give you instructions for each part. Now we shall begin. May I see your identification? They need to see the same identification you used to register for the test and you used to sign in for the test 20 minutes before. They will ask it one more time here. Uh, make sure that um, you have the same ID. Don't lose it in that 20 minutes after you've registered, okay? All right, so Vashu Chopra says, sure, here's my passport which I used for registering for this exam, please have a look. That's pretty good, Vashu, just watch your spelling there on registering, but otherwise it's pretty good. So this is uh, Vashu here, and uh, pay attention to spelling and accurate writing, students. 
okay um, and it's good sure so everybody repeat after me uh, may I see your identification uh, sure here's my passport which I used for registering for this exam please have a look it's not over speaking it's a nice clear fluent answer very nicely done Vashu okay Arda says uh, yes certainly here is my passport that I used to register for this exam a couple of weeks ago. Please have a look at my credentials. Very nice. I like using that word credentials because it gets you kind of in tune with good lexical resource. So um, when you're using words like Arda did here with credentials, because that's what they're looking for are your credentials. Eh, that color doesn't work all that well. Let's do uh, this one here. Okay. So uh, when you do it in that way, then, um, then you're telling yourself, okay, I have to pay attention to using good words. This isn't a chit chat in a coffee shop. It's not your thesis dissertation in university, but it is professional communication, okay? So repeat after me, students. May I see your identification? Sure, here's my passport, which I used for registering for this exam. Please have a look. Yes, certainly. Here is my passport that I used to register for this exam a couple of weeks ago. Please have a look at my credentials. Very good. Also, using a couple of weeks ago reminds you of uh, quantitative language, meaning the use of numbers. Okay, so that's good as well. All right, numbers, using numbers when you speak is a really good idea, okay? So use quantitative language. For band nine, it's like you have to, okay? You have to, okay? And please look at my credentials, um, use good vocabulary. And of course, overall, giving this answer reminds you to be fluent, okay? Good, and then you hold out your ID, you show your ID, smile, be positive, and you're off to the races. Next, the examiner will ask you, what is your full name? Let's see what students come up with for this one. So, uh, Simran, Simran, Pravasha, Mijanur, Anish. I like your answers for the previous question. Let's go for this next one. Dovlet Beck, let's see it. So here we go. Dovlet Beck says, uh, my first name is Dovlet Beck and my family name is Mirzaliev. Uh, please call me by my first name, uh, Dovlet Beck. Yeah, um, good. And you don't even have to repeat your first name because uh, they should remember it. it for natural English, we usually stop right there, okay? So once we've said it, especially uh, when repeating that it's your first name, you can just stop right there, double out back. So one more time, everybody repeat after me. What is your first, what is your full name? My first name is Dovlad Beck and my family name is Mirzaliev. Please call me by my first name. And then the examiner will say, okay, Dovlad Beck, for part one, I will ask you a couple of questions to get to know you better. Some questions on a general topic, okay? So you can stop there. Don't repeat yourself, okay? Remind yourself of this important detail, everyone. Uh, do not give repetitive and redundant information. Uh, if you do, your uh, examiner will start interrupting you. Okay, and your score will go down. So, in the past, I've told students to have this kind of mental checklist of what to do and what not to do uh, for speaking part one to get those high high band scores one really great way to remind yourself of your checklist that you're looking at before you walk into your exam is to practice the parts of that checklist in these warm-up questions okay so 
practice the strategies of your mental checklist with the uh, introductory questions. And these are such as um, do not repeat, speak fluently, use paraphrasing for vocabulary, include correlative conjunctions, reflect the grammar of questions. Okay, so there are lots, these are just some examples and we're going to be practicing these in our speaking. Is that clear everybody? So you should have a little checklist that you take with you to your speaking exam that has these points on it, which I just emphasized here, okay? Um, and more, the points that you really need to pay attention to, okay? And then when you're giving your full name and you're uh, showing your passport and you're answering these couple of introductory questions, you should remind yourself of these points by using them in these first couple of questions. Can we get some thumbs up? I see Carolina's on the ball today. She's like, yeah, bam, that's a, yeah, we've got that. Okay, Rashika says, yes, sir. Amra says, perfect. Okay, good, yeah, absolutely nice. So I'm glad that everybody's picking up on those. And we're going to practice this, everybody. So um, let's do a bit of uh, speaking. We're going to uh, take some volunteers and I'm actually going to call some of you now, uh, some volunteers uh, who are brave uh, to answer some of these questions. And we'll go start going through these questions and I will give you real time feedback with band score estimates and tips and strategies and we'll do more repetition work uh, to improve your communication and English. So to volunteer, everyone, follow these steps. Number one, register a free or paid account at ahelp.com. You don't have to pay money for this. You can use this for, for free. Log into your My Student account. So you basically log into your account. You click on Student Partner Speaking and Enable your microphone in your browser, okay? Now, another suggestion, I've realized it's a good one here, is um, try the system with another student if you are new, okay? So I would, I would probably put this in here as number five and then let's move all these down a little bit. So if you're absolutely new to this, um, maybe before you try calling me, uh, try the system with another student and just say, hey, can, in the chat, say, hey, can we test this out? Make sure it works on my device with my operating system. Um, and then you can figure out the bugs to make sure that uh, it works for you. Keep that window open. And then once you're sure that it works, then you can send me a message in the chat. Look for the handle master, the blue envelope, and then just message me, I want to volunteer. And then I can, uh, see that you're volunteering and then I'll find you and we can talk and I'll ask you a question, okay? So again, what you do is you go to this website here, you go to uh, aehelp.com, you click on this red button, it's a one-time payment for lifetime access, you get all of our goodies or you click on this green button to try it for free, it's fine, okay? And then at the top here, if you see my cursor, you kind of see it flashing as I go scroll over it. You see the My Student account, okay? I'll make it a little bit bigger right there. You see the My Student account? You click on that, end the tour. There's lots of goodies, that's why we have a tour. And then one of the functions is right up here, this student partner speaking. So click on that student partner speaking, accept the terms, it means you're going to be respectful and responsible while speaking. And then uh, bada bing, bada bang, you are in this um, 
interface here where it's kind of like, uh, you know, it's like a chat interface, right? You've got an envelope that's to chat um, and then you've got uh, the video camera. Don't use that today, okay? We can't do that because I'm using video for uh, YouTube. Okay, um, and um, and then uh, send me a message. So click the blue envelope and say, hey, I'd like to volunteer. And then I can, I can already hear people volunteering and then I can see what you're doing and reach out to you. Okay, so the blue envelope, let's see. Um, Rahul is on the ball. Okay, Rahul is ready. Nice, so let me see. Rahul was the fastest one out of the gate. So let's see if we can reach out to Rahul. Hi, Rahul. Are you ready? And then I can contact you and see if you're ready, see if everything's working. Good internet connection, I highly recommend it. And then I can call and we can chat. Okay, let's do this, Rahul. And I can hear lots of volunteering going on now, which is superb. It's ringing in my ears and it's music to my ears. Hello, Rahul. It sounds like you picked up, but I'm not sure if you have your microphone enabled. Again, students, make sure that you have your microphone and your speakers enabled. I can't hear you, Rahul, so check your settings and call me back. I'm gonna check back with you later. All right, let's see who else is with us here. Okay, Calvin is the next in the list, so we'll reach out to Calvin. I'm pretty sure Calvin's got their system set up. So Calvin wants to volunteer. Are you ready? All right, Calvin is good to go. Hello, sir. Hi, Calvin. How are you? Hey, I'm doing great. How about you? I am full of energy and doing fantastic. Thank you for asking. Kelvin, I'm going to take a wild guess here. You're in Taiwan, if I remember correctly? Um, no, sir. I'm in Indonesia. You're in Indonesia. Okay. Yeah. I, was, I was a little bit off. Not on the other side of the planet, but a bit off <laughs> anyway. Yeah, it's quite far, but not that far. Like. Yeah, it's a, I'm sure it's a bit of a flight from Indonesia in there. Okay, I'm, try, I'm trying to remember some of the um, students who are volunteering regularly, and it's great, Calvin, that you keep coming back and volunteering. It's a wonderful way to build confidence and get feedback. So, Calvin, I'm going to jump right into some questions for part one here with you. Give me a nice full sentence answer, and then I'll give you some feedback, okay? Yes. All right, here we go. So uh, for part one, I will ask you some questions to get to know you better and some questions on a general topic. Where do you live? I reside in a city called Samarinda. It is located in the northern part of Kalimantan Island in Indonesia. Well, I've been living there in a bachelor pad with a private bathroom all by myself for a couple of months. And I can say that it's a cozy and nice place to stay. Okay, that's super fast, fluent, and a very high band score indeed. Uh, I'm just making up the last part of it because I don't even remember it. Okay, um, all right, but I got most of it. So you said, I reside in a city called Samarinda. It is located um, in the northern part of Indonesia on an island, on a northern island of Indonesia. I caught that as well. And then you said, I've been living here in a bachelor pad for the past, I'm just saying five years, uh, by myself. 
Yeah, that's a wonderful answer. So I can tell that you have been practicing and you have been paying attention to the lessons. So with this question, where do you live? Um, it's a good idea to answer uh, with the location of where you are geographically in the world, right? Um, and then, of course, also your residence. So do you live in a townhouse, a house, an apartment? And here um, you were very specific. You said a bachelor pad. A uh, bachelor pad is um, like... Um, kind of like a studio apartment. That's another way to say that, okay? And uh, it's made for one person, usually it's a smaller space. Um, and then you even use the present perfect. So you're showing me a lot of great language. And at this point, um, you're getting a band nine so far. So uh, because you're exactly what they expect for what's called an expert user of the English language. It's somebody who can dynamically use grammar and they can answer with great accuracy okay so i'm going to just repeat this just repeat after me and students everybody who's watching you can do a bit of repetition here as well okay uh, calvin are you ready yes here we yes, go sir. so where do you live i reside in a city called samarinda it is located on a northern island uh, in the indonesian uh, islands i've been living here for in a bachelor pad for the past five years by myself. Okay, um, and again, you don't have to say exactly what I said, you can just repeat what you said. So where do you live? Well, I reside in a city called Samarinda. It is located in the northern part of the biggest island in Indonesia. Well, I've been living there in a bachelor pad with a private bathroom for over five months now by myself. Wonderful. Yeah, that's beautiful. Okay, so as long as you stay focused and keep answering with that level of accuracy and structure, you're on your way to a band nine. No question. Okay. Okay, sir. All right, Calvin, keep it up. And thank you for showing everybody how it's done right out of the, you've, you've set the bar very high. <laughs> Calvin. <laughs> keep it up. Okay. Thank you so much, sir. Okay. See you in class. Bye, Calvin. Bye, sir. All right, give Calvin a thumbs up, everybody. That was really great. Um, I'm sure Calvin's looking forward to some more in-depth questions. Calvin, you know what? If I see you volunteer again a little bit later on, I'll ask you a different question about singing, okay? Uh, because I think you have practiced that question very well. All right, let's see uh, who else has braved volunteering since then. Um, okay, uh, let me uh, reach out to Tatiana here. Uh, Tatiana, I'm just going, well, no, I'm going to check if you're there. I think it's better to be safe. So are you there, Tatiana? Tatiana also volunteers regularly, and I will be looking for some new volunteers, of course, as we get into this. So let's see if Tatiana's here. She just happened to be the next on my list. Okay. Hello, Tatiana. Hello, Adrian. How are you today? I am doing superb. Thank you for asking. How is life in Russia today? Same old, same old. Thank you for asking. Have you been watching the Olympics? Uh, no, I'm not into sport, actually. Okay. The reason I'm asking is because Russia usually has quite a strong uh, winter Olympic team so I was wondering if you're keeping up with that but I haven't been so I was hoping to just get some news um, that's okay though. Um, all right Tatiana so I'm going to ask you another part one question this is probably one of the most common icebreaker questions uh, by examiners give me a nice full sentence answer okay uh -huh. okay all right so uh, what is your hobby <laughs> Uh, my hobby is uh, watching series and learning languages. Uh, I do it, uh, I learn languages because it gives me a better understanding of the world. And uh, I love series because it unwinds me. Just yesterday I watched a, a, an episode of my favorite series before reviewing some words on uh, Duolingo application.
Okay, almost there. All right. Okay, um, very good, Tatiana. That would be about a band um, eight, I would say. Uh, maybe if an examiner is very strict, seven, five. If they're very lenient, eight, five. Speaking scores can fluctuate a bit, especially with the way you're speaking. Because you're very fluent, your fluency is a band nine. Um, the coherence is quite high because you have great content and solid structure, okay? However, there are some slight oddities in a couple of places where you need to make some fixes, okay? And I'll tell you what those are, Tatiana, really quickly, okay? So you said, okay. um, my hobby is watching series. In natural English, we usually add TV series, uh, okay. okay. So we, we say what kind of a series it is. There's series is usually used with an adjective, okay? Or a comedy series or a mystery series. Then we have a little bit of a better idea. So try to be a bit more specific with that, okay? So uh, my hobby is watching uh, TV series and learning languages. Um, and I, what kind of series? TV comedy series? Yeah, sure. So the more specific you are, the better chance that you're getting a full mark. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. um, in this case, we probably wouldn't say TV comedy series because comedy gives the idea of, of TV. So uh, my mm -hmm. hobby is watching comedy series and or learning TV drama languages. Series. Drama would be okay as well. Yeah, just make sure you stick with one. Don't let your mind jump around. It doesn't sure. have uh -huh. to be the truth, right? Just stick with one. Okay. Uh -huh. um, so, and then you said and I learn languages uh, here I wouldn't repeat languages I'd be more specific so I would say something like I learn English and German uh -huh. for, for instance because it gives me a better understanding of the world and I watch comedies I wouldn't repeat series here uh, because it unwinds me this is a very common mistake Tatiana and it's a very awkward one so pay attention to, to this um, because it helps, helps me, me unwind Wind. Okay. okay it unwinds me doesn't work it's bizarre oh, English right. it, it means that you're literally twisted up like a pretzel <laughs> and you're and when you watch a comedy you laugh and then you unwind like a court sure okay? now I will remember it forever okay so uh, just yesterday I watched some and everybody pay attention to that unwind me because I've heard that mistake so many times by so many different people from different countries so it's not just you Tatiana it's a lot of people okay, okay. Um, just yesterday I watched um, be the, the further you go especially when you're in the example you want to be with a specific example here um, just yesterday I watched uh, Seinfeld let's go with like a very well-known series or something so I watched Seinfeld before reviewing some words on Duolingo so here you're being very specific with the Duolingo application uh -huh. now you so sound original accurate and at a band nine okay uh -huh. So let me repeat this and then repeat after me. Focus also at your level on copying my intonation and rhythm as well, okay? So here we go. Um, what is your hobby? Um, my pastime activity is watching comedy series and learning languages. I learn English and German because it gives me a better understanding of the world and I watch comedies because it helps me unwind. Just yesterday, I watched an episode of Seinfeld before reviewing some words on Duolingo. What is your hobby? My uh, pastime, my favorite pastime is watching comedy series and learning uh, languages. I learn English and German because it uh, gives me a better understanding of the world. And I watch comedy series because it helps me to unwind. Just yesterday I watched uh, an episode of uh, Seinfeld series before reviewing some words on Duolingo application. Much better. That's definitely going to be up in that 859 range, okay? So much, much better. So Tatiana, the, um, the secret's in the details as the saying goes, right? Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. that's what you have to do. So at your level, it does take a lot of practice because you really have to just go back, fix those little mistakes, repeat mm -hmm. and then keep going forward okay so keep practicing okay. that and you know in russian the saying goes uh, the devil is in details or we say the god is in details yeah uh, you're right and in english the accurate saying is the devil's in the details yeah, the devil. We, say okay. that, yeah we say that as well in english absolutely okay <laughs> thank you for your valuable advice you are very very welcome have an awesome rest of your day tatiana
Same to you. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye. Okay, that was Tatiana. Um, again, give Tatiana a thumbs up because she's doing great. She's putting herself out there, building her confidence and helping people learn. Okay, uh, mistakes are shared. A lot of people have similar kinds of uh, mistakes. Okay. All right, um, let me reach out to somebody who's new here. I don't think I've seen before. Kalechi, um, I believe, is brand new. So Kalechi says, hi, Master, I want to volunteer. I, I really got to change that name. I don't want to be called Master. Um, all right. Um, all right, Kalechi, are you ready? Let's see if we can catch Kalechi today on this beautiful Wednesday morning for me. Rashika, I would love to see you volunteer as well. Thank you for the applause. Thank you for the thumbs up, students. That's really great um, that you're showing support for each other. It helps to build confidence, okay? Kalechi, if you are there, if you're ready, let me know. I just sent you a message and I'll give you a couple more seconds. I know sometimes it takes time for people to realize like, oh, it's me, yeah, okay, it's me. Um, all right, there's Kalechi. Okay, hopefully your system's set up, your microphone is enabled. Hello, Kalechi. I hear that you picked up, but I don't hear any sound from your end. Um, if you're using a mobile phone, I highly recommend using a headset. Mobile phones often will not enable your um, microphone. So make sure, again, this is for everybody. If you're using mobile phones, I know a lot of you are, um, use a headset. It just seems to work more efficiently for uh, website interfaces, including things like Skype and WhatsApp as well. So, Kalechi, I don't hear you, but if you try later, you have a very nice unique name, I'm sure I will catch you, okay? So, uh, again, students, uh, remember this important uh, point that I just added in. Test the system with other students. Make sure your setup is correct, okay? All right. Let me see if Lynn is here. I'm not sure if Lynn and I have had a chance to talk before. So Lynn says, I'd like to volunteer. Are you ready, Lynn? Okay, we're just about to get into the topic questions of the day, which is talking about singing. So hopefully we've got some singers out there. Uh, Lynn says they are ready. out there. Lynn said. Hi, Lynn. Hello. Hi, and I heard you mute YouTube, which is great. We're not getting feedback. That's fantastic. How are you doing today, Lynn? Um, I'm doing fantastic. Okay. And Lynn, may I ask, where are you right now? Uh, I'm from Vietnam. Uh, it's uh, been uh, nine Okay, you are in Vietnam. That's fantastic. Which city are you in? Um, Haiphong City. Okay. okay. It's a small city. It's a smaller city. Okay. All right. And why are you uh, taking the IELTS exam? Um, uh, because uh, I want to uh, uh, improve my level and. Um, <laughs> I want to have a um, six point five to uh, go to the university. Okay, yeah, IELTS is very popular in Vietnam these days. I'm guessing it's required for a lot of different applications and administrative processes. Okay, Lynn, well, you've made a good choice to uh, join this live class and now you have a chance um, to practice a little bit of speaking part one with me. So I'm going to introduce the topic. Give me a nice full sentence answer. Remember to explain and give an example when possible and then I will give you some feedback, okay? All right, here we go. Um, so uh, let's talk about singing. Do you like to sing? Why or why not? Uh, 
Uh, sure, I do. But uh, sad to say, I don't have a good singing voice. I think uh, I'm a tone deaf, uh, but uh, that don't stop me from loving singing because uh, singing is my uh, way of uh, reveling my stress. When I sing, I forget about my worry. Okay. So, um, great. Okay, that was not bad. Not bad at all for a uh, for, for a start there. Um, I think you would get a band uh, 5.5, maybe a 6. I think 5.5 would be the for sure. So you'd definitely get a 5.5, but you would maybe get a 6. Um, here's the interesting news for you, Lynn. I think that your fluency is uh, 6.5. Um, I think that your lexical resource, meaning your vocabulary, is like a band 7, 5, maybe even an 8. Um, and I think that uh, your grammatical range and accuracy is about a 7 as well. Um, your pronunciation definitely um, lowers your score a bit and it's not necessarily the way you articulate the words. So I can mostly understand every word that you're using. Um, your intonation and your rhythm, you have to make that more natural. It, it kind of sounds like you're speaking English in Vietnamese. So the way that you're intonating. Okay, um, and that comes that comes with practice. So you really have to just speak a lot and repeat a lot. So watch lots of movies and your fav favorite actresses. Just copy the way that they talk, like nonstop. So watch movies with subtitles, and when you hear them talk, read the subtitles in the same way with the same rhythm. Does that make sense? Thank you for the advice. Yeah, absolutely. And Lynn, if it feels a bit weird, if you're like, well, that feels weird, um, that's okay. It should feel weird. Different languages have weird feeling intonation, especially when we're closer to adulthood, okay? So I'm going to um, fix this a little bit, what you said, and then uh, we'll do a bit of repetition right now. So my question was, do you like to sing? And you said, sure, I do. But I'm sad to say I don't have a good singing voice. I'm tone deaf. I love, love that. I, I thought that was great English, by the way. And then you said singing is my way of relieving stress. When I sing, I forget about my worries. Okay. Um, just this morning and then include a nice example and then you're really complete and full. Okay. So just this uh, morning... Um, I was uh, singing, I will survive. Everybody knows that song. I'm not going to start singing it. <laughs> I will survive um, to uh, help me get over my nervousness for this exam. Okay. All right. Um, all right, so I'm going to say this nice and smooth. And you know, I, Lynn, I can tell that you know, you're know you nervous right now speaking uh, in front of all these people in this live class, but it's okay. Just uh, you wanna be confident, be yourself. The sun will shine tomorrow, okay? I can tell that you've studied hard and you've studied lots, so be brave, okay? Um, here we go, Lynn. So I'm going to read the question, give the answer after I'm finished, then just repeat me, okay? So here we go. Uh, do you like to sing? Sure, I do. Uh, but I'm sad to say I don't have a good singing voice. I'm tone deaf. Singing is my way of relieving my stress. When I sing, I forget about my worries. Just this morning I was singing, I will survive uh, to help me get over my nervousness for this exam. Do you like to sing? Sure, I do. But I said to say I don't have a good singing voice. I'm tone deaf. Singing is my way of uh, reviling my stress. When I sing, I forgot my worry. Just this morning, I singing, I will survive to help me to get over my uh, 
Nevert. Over this uh, exam. <laughs> Okay, good. All right. And as you can tell, another way to improve your English pronunciation and intonation is by reading aloud. So read audiobooks and read aloud. Um, sorry, I should say read with audiobooks. And that will also help a lot. Okay, so reading aloud is another really good way to improve that pronunciation and accuracy. Um, Lynn, keep it up. You're on the right path, and I'm sure that as long as you keep working as hard as you have until now, you will do great on your IELTS exam, okay? Thank you for the advice. You are very welcome, Lynn, and I hope you have a great night in Vietnam. Bye for now. Bye. Okay, so everybody give Lynn a thumbs up and some applause. She was very brave, right? We could tell, you know, there's a bit of nervousness there, and that's totally normal. Um, and, um, yeah, uh, to get over that uh, nervousness, uh, to gain confidence, it's good to volunteer in these classes, okay? All right, uh, let me try to find another new person here, Vaughn. I don't think we've ever heard from Vaughn, so let's see if Vaughn is ready. Are you ready? Again, computers, headsets, I highly advise it for this system. Thank you, Carolina. Thank you, Simran uh, Mal, for the support. For Lynn, um, I'm sure she is gaining confidence by the second. Very nice. Okay, Vaughn, here we go. Hi, Vaughn. Again, I hear that you've picked up, but I cannot hear your voice, Vaughn. If you can hear me, if you have a headset, try plugging it in or turning it on. One of the reasons, students, mobile phones don't work well with this system either is because you have a lot of background noise often with mobile phones. Okay. All right, Vaughn, uh, again, test the system with another student, figure out the ins and outs, um, what to do to make it work, and then get back to me. Here we go. So let's take another volunteer. I can't hear you, Vaughn, unfortunately. Okay, so try again uh, a little bit later. Okay. Uh, let's try NGO. I believe NGO has been in these classes but I don't think we've heard NGO's voice yet, which is interesting. So let's see, uh, NGO, are you ready? Okay, test the system. Everyone, test the system before you're volunteering with me. It will definitely help to make sure that I will hear you as you will hear me when we're connecting. Okay, NGO is ready. Here we go. Hello. Okay, NGO is ready. Hi. Um, Here we go. Just make sure to mute YouTube so we're not getting feedback. Yep. Perfect. Hello. Hello. Okay, NGO is ready. I'm Hi. ready. Yeah. Just mute YouTube. YouTube so we're not getting feedback. Yep. Perfect. Hello. Hello. Okay, NGO is ready. Hi. I'm ready. All right, we're getting a lot of echo here. NGO, can you make sure to mute YouTube? So click on the mute button in YouTube. Hello? Yeah, okay, now it's good. Now we got you. All right, I hope people just didn't start losing their minds. They're like, what's going on? We're in the twilight zone. Um, all right, NGO, I can hear you nice and clear now. Can you hear me okay? Yeah. Perfect. Uh, how do I pronounce your name? Uh, you just... Uh, call me back because uh, no is my first name. No, right? So it's pronounced no. Okay. Uh, and may I call you no? Mm, whatever. It's okay. Okay. Uh, sorry, you said do you wanted me to call you something else. What, what did you prefer me to call you? Uh, you can call me back. Back? Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay, back. Um, then um, may I ask you, where are you calling from? 
Uh, well, currently I'm living in the Taiwan city, which located the north of Vietnam. Okay. All right. Right on. All right. Well, I will ask you um, an IELTS question or two. Give me a nice full sentence answer and then I'll give you feedback. Does that sound good? Yeah. All right. Here we go with uh, part one. Again, we're continuing talking about singing. Back, how often do you sing? Uh, well, as a typical Vietnamese, I I spend most of my spare time in order in order to sing, and even when I take a, take a bath, I I also sing. This is this is because sing is my sing is my pleasure. Okay. All right. Okay. Um, so back, that would be about a band, uh, again, 5.5, maybe a six. Um, if you make some corrections, for sure a six. But I think you can get a higher mark. You just have to be a bit more careful with your word choice. Um, the way that you're um, choosing your words, you're speaking. Um, with slightly awkward English. I can understand what you're saying, but it sounds a bit strange. I'll, I'll explain that to you in a bit more detail in a moment. Uh, also, you want to give more accurate answers, uh, especially for this kind of question like, how often uh, do you sing? When the question is, how often do you sing? You should use an adverb of frequency. Do you know what those are back, the adverbs of frequency? Uh, yeah, I know. Uh, sorry, because I I didn't hear the uh, the question clearly because it's it's so uh, the Wi-Fi in here is so bad in the evening. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So so to go back to this, okay. Um, the the uh, adverbs of frequency are like always. Can you give me one? Uh, frequently. Yeah, frequently. Can you give me another one? Um. Regular? Regularly, sure. Rarely, never, sometimes, seldom, or seldomly. Okay. Um, yeah. And then you want to add some uh, numbers to that. Okay. So once you've got your adverbs of frequency, then you want to give some numbers like twice a day or five times a week. Okay. Uh, 30 minutes a day, an hour a day. So quantify it, okay? So give more accuracy. Um, so here was your answer. You said, well, as a typical Vietnamese, I spend my spare time in order to sing. You wouldn't hear that in English. So uh, in, for an English speaker, what you would hear is, well, as a typical Vietnamese, I, spare, I spend my spare time singing, not in order to sing, just singing, okay? Uh, whenever I take a bath, drive my car, so here I would probably include one or two more, uh, drive my car or do the dishes. I'm usually uh, humming a song. I would say for at least uh, an hour a day, okay? Um, and then this is because singing is my pleasure. So I understand what you're saying, you like to sing, it's fun, but again, it's awkward English. So this is because singing helps me to feel good or helps me feel um, happy, okay? Okay, um, this morning I uh, was uh, singing Eye of the Tiger on uh, my drive to this exam center. Okay, that would be a nice example to finish with. Okay, um, so here I'm going to uh, repeat this answer again. Pay attention to the accuracy and also pay attention to how I answer, explain, and then give an example, okay? 
back are you still there yeah okay. i'm still here all right so i'm going to read the question give the answer and then repeat after me so how often do you sing well as a typical vietnamese i spend my spare time singing whenever i take a bath drive a car or do the dishes i'm usually humming a song i would say for at least an hour a day uh this is because singing helps me to feel happy this morning I was singing Eye of the Tiger on my way uh, to this exam center. How often do you sing? Well, as a typical Vietnamese, I spend my spare time singing. Whenever I take a bath, drive a car, or do the dishes, I'm usually humming a song. I say for at least an hour a day. This is because singing helps me to feel happy. This morning, I was singing Eye of Tiger on my way to this exam center much better okay um, you want to focus on intonation as well to make your rhythm and your intonation sound smoother more English like but you're on the right track so a little bit slower don't you don't have to speak so fast and focus more on accuracy okay yeah all right thank you so much for volunteering and i hope you have a rest a great rest of your night in vietnam as well just like with lynn yeah thank you so much okay bye back all bye. right um that was back so give back a thumbs up and i heard the bye at the end there back that was good uh awesome good work um let's take another volunteer we'll take one more okay uh, we have Liban Mohammed. Let's see if Liban Mohammed is here with us right now. So Liban, are you ready? Let's see if we can reach out to Liban. Hopefully we can catch Liban for another question. And hopefully Liban is still hanging around. I know it takes a couple of seconds. We've got about a five second delay here, uh, students, um, to be perfectly real time. We are ultra low latency. So hopefully Liban is here still. If not, oh, there's Liban. Okay. Yeah, it takes about five, six seconds. Here we go. Yes. Hi, Liban. Yes, sir. How are you doing? I'm good. Are you? I'm doing fantastic as well. Where are you uh, in the world right now, Liban? Um, currently, I live in Bangladesh. In Bangladesh. All right. Yeah. It's getting yeah. pretty late in Bangladesh as well, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, actually. <laughs> okay. And you're studying late in the night. Good for you. All right, uh, so Liban, I'm going to ask you a question. Give me a nice full sentence answer and then I will give you some feedback, okay? Yes, sir. All right. Okay, uh, so um, Liban, here we go. I'm gonna skip a question here and go to this one. Um, who is your favorite singer and why do you like this person? Um, actually, my favorite singer is one of the um, old, for like uh, um, uh, sorry, uh, my favorite singer is uh, I don't know so much for singer names, but I catch up uh, one of my um, so, so many singers is called Awale. This I have a good. He has a good voice and helps me to rest his, or, um, lesser times. All right. Okay. Um, so, uh, Liban, um, yes. that would score you about a band four. Okay, band four, because 
Um, it lacks fluency, so you got stuck a few times, you restarted a few times. You did answer the question, so yeah. I understand that you, you know, you're nervous, obviously, and that's normal. Um, you understood the question, which is good. Uh, the way you got yourself into trouble is um, you started to really think about, you know, the truth and reality and who you really like. And then you eventually came up with a WA name, okay? Um, so you want to start faster with more confidence, more accurately to make sure that you're getting your maximum yeah. band score, okay? Um, and again, IELTS doesn't have to be the truth. You can just make up a name. You can make up a singer, okay? Uh, do you know Michael Jackson? Uh. I know, I know, I know. I'm looking that name, but uh, I'm searching too many times. I was thinking his name. I'm looking uh, too many times. So I say, so uh, I'm looking for my country's singers. Also, yeah, and, and that's fine. And Awane, I mean, I'm not going to judge you. It can be anybody. So um, you said, actually, my favorite singer is one of the, my favorite singer. And then you said, I don't know many singers' names. And then you finally said, okay, it's Awane. So when yeah. you're not sure, um, then you can buy a little bit of time by using a phrase like this. Uh, so in case you're not sure, you can say, uh, I like uh, a lot of different uh, singers, uh, but, and then here I'm thinking of who I'm choosing, but I guess uh, my favorite is Awane. Um, is it a boy or a girl, she or a he? Um, and he, he uh, boy. Okay, so uh, he has a beautiful voice. Uh, voice, and I feel uh, enthusiastic um, whenever I hear him sing. Uh, I listened. To his song just this morning okay so simplify don't tell the truth necessarily just show fluency okay so and if you're not sure uh, if the question kind of surprises you then buy a little bit of time okay so I'm going to uh, read the question repeat this answer and then copy me okay so who is your favorite singer why do you like this person I like a lot of different singers, but I guess my favorite is Awane. He has a beautiful voice and I feel enthusiastic whenever I hear him sing. I listened to his song just this morning. Who is your favorite singer? Uh, Why do you like this person? Uh, actually, my favorite singer is, is one of the, my favorite singer is, no, sorry. Uh, I like a lot of different singers, but I guess my favorite is Awale. He is a beautiful voice and I feel enthusiastic whenever I hear him sing. I listen I'm I listen to his to his song just this morning. Okay, much better. So I can tell that um, you know you're practicing English and you've studied English uh, quite a bit. Now it's time to practice. So make sure to come back to the website and speak with other students and practice your English to build your fluency, okay? Uh, and build your accuracy. Okay. So this um, interface that we're using right now, where we're talking right now, it's free. You can talk to other students at any time. Just keep coming yeah. back here send a chat to another student and say, you know, hey, do you want to practice for five minutes? And then I'm sure many students will be like, okay, that's great. And just keep practicing. Okay, so lots and lots of practice. Okay, okay. All right, Liban, I hope you have an awesome rest of your day in Bangladesh. Thank you so much for volunteering. Okay, so thank you. Bye for now. Okay, that was Liban Mohammed in Bangladesh, and he was really putting himself out there, students, which is great. Um, and that's what it takes, you know, uh, regardless of your English level, practice, 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 practice uh, makes perfect, okay? All right, students, that's all the time I have for today's lesson. But again, um, to get all of our materials uh, and uh, to practice every day, to maximize your score, I highly, highly recommend joining our premium IELTS package on our website, aehelp.com. 
click this big red button. It's a one-time payment for lifetime access for the general IELTS. It's the green background, gieltshelp.com. Click that big red button there, okay? Um, and you won't regret it. Uh, we help hundreds, if not thousands, of students every week to improve uh, their IELTS scores, their speaking, their confidence. So join us, be a part of our success stories. Um, again, uh, it's a one-time payment, lifetime access. Thank you for all of our volunteers today. You are all very brave souls. Keep it up. Thank you to our members, Rashika, Shab, Nuthan, Pravasha. Thank you to our moderator, Carolina, and everybody for watching. I'm Adrian. I'm signing out from beautiful Victoria, Canada for now. I hope to see you all tomorrow. Bye, everybody.